Welcome to this lecture on international economics. In this video, we will see why countries indulge in trading and look into the concepts of comparative advantage. So, why do countries indulge in trade? Countries engage in international trade because of differences in their technological abilities to produce goods and services, and also the resource endowments of different countries are different. Resource endowments refer to the skills and abilities of a country's workforce, the natural resources available within its borders. Differences in the demand of a commodity can also lead to a beneficial trade. Beside these factors, economies of scale and existing government policies in a country can also be a reason for trade between countries. The Ricardian model of international trade is based on technological differences across countries. These differences are reflected in differences in the labor productivity. Like any economic theory, Rigsardian model is also based on assumption. There are only two countries. They produce two goods. Production requires only one input, labor, which is limited in amount in both countries and is perfectly immobile, that is, labors cannot travel across countries. Opportunity cost between the goods is constant in each country. This means that the production possibility curve is a straight line. Model also assumes that there is neither transaction cost nor transportation cost. As long as the relative cost of production is different in the two countries, there exists a comparative advantage. What is comparative advantage? A country has comparative advantage in producing a certain good if the opportunity cost of producing that good is lower than the opportunity cost in the other country. Ricardo observes that an absolute advantage does not necessarily imply a comparative advantage. So, what is an absolute advantage? By definition, a country has absolute advantage over the other if it is more efficient at producing both goods than the other country. If trade is possible between two countries, they are motivated to specialize fully in the production of the good in which they have a comparative advantage, thus allocating their scarce resources labor to its most productive uses. So, this was all for this video. We will further explore topics of comparative advantage with example and see into one factor economy model. Hope this video was helpful to you. Do like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated.